Showers and thunderstorms moved through Upper Michigan this afternoon, but this was much needed rain that moved through the UP. 906 Weather Watchers page, this is Beverly Kozell, and she sent this in from Covington, and you can see the ominous clouds moving on in from the west here. And this is when these thunderstorms were a little bit on the stronger side. We did have severe thunderstorm warnings earlier on out west in Barriga County and also Houghton County. And you can see those ominous clouds moving on in. And then as we look at some other photos coming in from the 906 Weather Watchers page, Ked from Westwood sent this in. You can see the heavy rain. He said he had dime-sized hail, and I think some of the dime-sized hail took some of the leaves off the trees there at his place. And then this comes from Nathan Larsh here, and I got to show you this. This is right outside our studios here at WJMN Local 3 Mamatis Clouds right here behind the thunderstorms that moved through here around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Thanks, Nathan, for sending that in. And just beautiful mammatus clouds. Don't get to see those much here. And sometimes mammatus clouds can indicate strong thunderstorms. All right, we still have some thunderstorms out there on our local three radar network here. As we dial that up here, you can see we do have thunderstorms across the north woods of Wisconsin. And in fact, we have a severe thunderstorm warning that is in effect for Oneida County here in Forest County on the other side of the Michigan Wisconsin border here for some larger hail. But as we close on in here, you can see more thunderstorms thunderstorms back to the west of Escanaba. In fact, a pretty good soaking rain going on right now in the Iron Mountain area and Escanaba were dry, but we had one round of thunderstorms move on through and now we're looking at our next round of thunderstorms off to the west. So as you get west of Bark River powers, we do have more thunderstorms that are back out towards Iron Mountain and those will move on off towards the east and affect our and affect the Escanaba area and also locations right along M35 south of Escanaba over the next hour. More rain showers and storms across the eastern UP. But once again, this is much beneficial rain that's moving on through, but we do have some rain thunderstorms extending from Sioux Junction back towards Newberry, Curtis, and then southern Schoolcraft County, Blaney Park over towards Gulliver and Manistique, seeing some rain showers and thunderstorms. As we wind out the view here. Let's time out the rain showers and thunderstorms for the rest of the evening. I think they're going to continue through sunset here and then watch what happens after sunset. They go away. We clear things out. Tomorrow we're looking at sunshine. Look for highs around 70 or the 70s and then we're looking at some slight rain shower and thunderstorm chances here as we go into the daytime on Wednesday. So here's what's ahead. Scattered thunderstorms through sunset. Some storms, I don't think they're going to be severe. You need to have 60 mile per hour winds or stronger or quarter size hail or larger to get severe thunderstorms, but still some of the storms could have some hail, maybe dime to penny size and some stronger winds. Beyond this, yes, there's slight chances of rain showers and thunderstorms in the extended forecast for some parts of the UP, but expect dry weather with a warm up on the way. Here's your UP community extended forecast. Marquette, Marquette County temperatures will be in the 70s for highs on Tuesday afternoon. 70s for Wednesday and then into the 80s we go for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. For the eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures that will be in the 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday, still in the 70s for Thursday, and then into the 80s we go for Friday and Saturday. And also this warm up, some humidity is coming along with it by Friday. Skip by there too fast, but want to show you Delta County temperatures in the 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday around 80 inland for Thursday and then 80s for Friday and Saturday. For the interior west, we'll see temperatures that will be in the 70s for Tuesday, 70s for Wednesday and then around 80 or the 80s for high temperatures Thursday, Friday and also Saturday for the Keweenaw Peninsula. We'll see temperatures that will be in the 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday and then around 80, especially well inland for Thursday and same for Friday and Saturday well inland. We could see some very warm temperatures. Once again, any rain showers or storms should be done by the evening by sunset. Temperatures by the overnight should be in the 40s. Some spots stay in the 50s. Weather anytime. WJM and Local 3 app. Also online at upmatters.com. And that's where we do have an interactive radar at the bottom of the page and on our Facebook page at WJM TV and our 906 Weather Watchers page. Brianna, we'll send it back to you.